Hey, Adam. It's March. In two weeks, it's going to be one year since quarantine started for the first time. And I really haven't been feeling too much like myself. I wasn't quite sure why. I stumbled across something on Twitter that explained it pretty well. It's called the anniversary effect. It's a psychological term for the unsettling feelings that return on the anniversary of a significant life event, often after one that's distressing in nature. The reason for this seems to be that because we did not have the ability to brace ourselves before something traumatic, our bodies are trying to compensate now, even though it can feel like our minds have moved on. My brain's felt pretty foggy, I've been having trouble getting things done, and I've just kind of been down in the dumps, which I think probably a lot of people have. I've been thinking a lot about the last normal week before the pandemic started. I remember a lot of it pretty vividly. And I think it's really strange how everything was very, very normal and then very, very not. On Saturday, March 7th, 2020, I went out for breakfast with my friend at a tiny little French bistro. I had coffee, eggs, and these French-style breakfast potatoes called pomme parisade, which were some of the best things I've ever tasted in my life. I split a lavender creme brulee for dessert. The waiter who was helping us recognized the artist who did the moon tattoo on my forearm, and I got really excited, and I told him that in a week I had an appointment to get the matching sun done. After we finished eating, we wandered into some vintage and secondhand stores, and I bought this coat. On Sunday, I wore the coat to meet a few friends for dinner and some beers in a nice, bright, noisy bar, and we bumped into some more people there, too. On Monday... I asked my manager if I could take a laptop home in case things got strange and I needed to work from home for a few weeks. On Tuesday, there were hand-washing signs posted all over my office. I invited a few friends over for dinner, and I made Priya Krishna's sag feta recipe from her Indianish cookbook. We laughed a lot, and we talked about meeting up the next week for a game night that never happened. On Wednesday, I went to a pie-baking workshop at the community college, And on the way there, I talked with my friend about how everybody was overreacting to this pandemic, how we just kind of had to treat it like the flu. And I got a recipe for a salted maple pie that was really excited to make. On Thursday after work, I stopped by Walgreens and the grocery store for the ingredients to make the pie from the workshop to bring to D&D that Sunday. And I picked up some pantry staples and some cough medicine just in case. On Friday, I left my mouse on my desk at work even though I took the laptop home with me because I thought I wouldn't need it if I was only going to be home for a few weeks. On Saturday, I got the sun tattoo. And that was the last time I was in public without a mask. It's the last normal thing I can remember doing. On Sunday, we decided to cancel D&D in person just to be safe. I made the pie anyway. And now it's been almost a year. And I don't exactly know where that leaves me. There's been a lot of baking projects, A lot of aimless walks around the neighborhood. A lot of craft projects. A lot of crying, gonna be honest. If you look back over the course of history, we've survived pandemics and epidemics before, so I know we're gonna come out of this okay. But we're not gonna come out of it the same. And that's the weird part. I taught myself how to darn socks the other day. I've always taken a lot of satisfaction in fixing things. Is it totally corny to say that I kind of feel like this sock? Like, after this year, just kind of worn out and janky, but like still functional, but you can sort of see the wear and tear, even though it's fixed. I don't know.